Hello, welcome to my channel and today I will be explaining you the summary of Sunday morning. It's a beautiful poem by Willie Stevens and it was originally published and sorry written in November 1950. So without further ado, let's get into the video. So beginning, I'm going to be beginning the summary. So it's a Sunday morning and while many people are at the church, a woman is sitting outside her outside in her like house in her nightgown and she was eating a late breakfast and enjoying the morning so if not for all the beauty around her including a pet tropical bird she feel guilty about not being in the church so but when she starts to daydream she has a very serious thought about the death of Christ. She imagines herself traveling with a bunch of ghosts to Christ's tomb in Palestine. So after this vision, she entertains like a kind of uh, like little bit of uh, skepticism about Christianity. She wonders why she only has thought about Christ when she is not thinking about other things. She likes the idea of heaven, but she believes that the natural world provides just as much comfort. So she decides that there is nothing divine apart from the emotion she experiences in nature. So the poem compares the Jesus Christ with Job and Job's, uh, Job was a very powerful God in Roman and Greek mythology and because Job represents the sun in the sky, the poet thinks the worship of Job in an, is an expression of love for these and other natural beauties. Also the poet thinks that the mythological gods fill a secret desire of the human imagination to praise nature. The world Sorry, the poet wonders if the gods created by men will lead to paradise or earth is the only paradise. So the woman thinks about how happy it makes her feel to see birds about to take off from a field but she worries them. Once the bird leave, left the field won't feel like paradise anymore. The poet response is that the beauty of nature have lasted longer than any specific religion, religious idea of paradise. The woman thinks that she needs to believe in a line of beauty and happiness that lasts forever. The poet responds that nothing beautiful could exist between with, uh, exist without change. Death causes sorry, death causes change. But even when death causes one thing to end, it brings about something new to take its place. The poet imagines a paradise without death or change, and he decides that it would be uh, like kind of ring and boring and maybe even a bit sad it wouldn't be that different from earth more except more pointless so as luck would have it more pagans guys shows up they're dancing in a circle and waving their hands in the air like just they don't care the men are chanting to the sun and the sounds of nature around them seems to add to the music. The men live in the present moment and do not worry about the past or future. The woman has a voice that tells her that there are no spirit clustered around Christ's tomb which is just a grave where a person is buried. The poem sums up the present sorry the poem sums up the poem to the reader without real gods or idea of heaven the world seems like chaos we are all alone but we have freedom. Humanity is like an island surrounded by void water on every side. So we are su uh, surrounded by natural beings that live independently of us and it is impossible to know their purpose of meaning. I hope you understood the poem and if you have any suggestion for the improvement of the video you can comment uh, down below and if you want me to make any video on any particular topic or any poem novel you can comment down below and please subscribe and share the video and like the video as well and take care